one Berlin biker here at GST Berlin, the KTM and Husqvarna dealership in Berlin, Germany. I am about to go ride a 2017 Husqvarna 701 Supermoto, complete with an Acropopic exhaust and some other goodies. I'm pretty excited to say the least. Um, this is the first time I've ever ridden a Supermoto bike. It's the first time I've ever ridden, no, I rode a few Huskies. First time I've ridden a Husky 700 though, and I'm super excited, full slicks and everything. So this should be quite the experience, but all right, let's go ride. Before we go out and test the Husqvarna 701 Supermoto, I wanted to give a huge thank you to GST Berlin for inviting me down to the GST days and testing as many bikes as I possibly could. If you've not already been, it's absolutely worth a trip to this beautiful dealership in Berlin, Germany. Easily a hundred different KTM Husqvarna models on the floor at any time. The people who I met were extremely friendly and they helped me fill out all the insurance forms in German and I never felt like I was a nuisance. I would absolutely love to do a full review of this bike and any other bike in the future and turn my real camera on it and get some of that real motorcycle porn. Maybe GST would let me borrow a bike for the weekend for a much better review and much better photos. Let me know guys if you like this video, I'd love to cooperate. Alright, it's time to do this. So what's going on is I'm about to mount up the Husky 701 Supermoto. Um, I'm kind of afraid how tall it is. Never going to be able to get my jeans over it, but they're going to have a full uh, kind of tour, a bunch of other people who rode bikes, things like that. I am quite excited to ride this bike right now. Bike sounds good. Oh man, so much hooliganness. So much. Oh, way skinnier than my bike. Way skinnier. Oh my god. I already love it. Oh my god, I want the spike so bad. Okay, so the clutch is super touchy. I just killed it as I was coming to a stop. The 701 cc's on this feel real nice. Okay, second gear is really high. crackle of it. Woo! I wonder where we're going. I'm recording. Yeah, I am. Okay. So we're going right. I don't know where. Oh my god, I totally understand how people... Alright, so I think we're, going, we're on the highway. Okay. I found my way to the front of the pack already. All right, this bike does not like to lug at all. That's good to know. Oh, the bars, everything about this bike just feels comfortable. Um, there, I've, we're not going very fast, 66 kilometers an hour, so the wind on me is not crazy. Like, I thought it'd be way more, honestly. Ooh, this exhaust, though. Oh. We, we, we missed that red light. We hit it, they did not.
So in there, in the shop, there was a 701 that had like full luggage kit on the back. And it got me thinking about how dope of a bike this would be to like travel Europe in. I think you would need some sort of windscreen though, because anything on the Autobahn just sucks. But, this is a solid bike. This feels so much better than the Husky 250 I rode the other day. Uh, back in Moab, Utah. This feels more powerful. The It just seems smoother and cleaner. It seems like, I don't know, like a more put together bike, I feel like is how you would say it. Suspension feels nice though, feels nice. But yeah. Well, motorcycle friends. Uh, but yeah. I don't know what else. So throaty. But yeah, this bike does not like to be lugged. Ooh. I don't know what gear I'm in, it doesn't show me. Per se. Berlin Brent, look at that. I have a video about that if you guys want to check it out. I'll throw it on the screen right now. Supermoto, Supermoto Saturday. It's an interesting building. So there's like 10 people with us. I think there's a... Everyone seems to be pretty kitted out right now, and I didn't think I would be able to ride a bike, so I'm wearing like a pair of black skinny jeans and my torn up white van high tops and my motorcycle jacket. I probably should have ridden a little bit of everything little more protection per se if we're going to ride like not with hooligans but you know ride a little aggressive oh he's riding a 125 that's so cute oh he's a little baby biker wonder if he's got a little bitch license and that's why i do like that big lcd on his uh his bars though mine's kind of tiny and old school like that's nice Maybe he's not part of us. Sideways up in the air a bit. Didn't expect that. Uh, 
Yeah, this clutch is disengaging too early, it feels like. The only problem with this bike for me is I cannot stand flat-footed. If I lean it, I'm fine, but it is a little tall. Definitely a little tall. I might be able to shave some, uh, shave the seat height a little bit off of it, but I think that's, that's not really a huge issue. I've never been able to touch the most grounds on motorcycles before, so, oh. Well, after this, I'm going to ride the KTM 1090 Adventure, um, something a little different. Um, you guys all know I love adventure bikes. So, finally, I get a feel one. Feel the cockpit. Oh, it is really warm right now. Wow. like five times as powerful. It's so cute. brakes on this thing are beautiful. They just stop. Definitely not stock bikes. Ooh, it is warm. I wore a t-shirt and this like really thin black windbreaker underneath my jacket. And I'm sweating. What is this? Garden. Oh, I think I know what that is. Yep, I, I wanted to go there. Uh, with Julia. We never made it. That's sad. It's okay. Life will go on. <sighs> Sorry about the big gasp. Fortunately, my girlfriend and I recently split up. So now you guys have a little more insight into me. You saw her in the... Woo! Calm down, second gear wheelies. Oh, you guys saw her in the BMW crafted festival video but it's okay it's okay lots of thinking and processing and time for me in the upcoming weeks to understand all that but it's all gonna be fine so let's keep thinking about this Husqvarna 701 supermoto I'm on because that is way more important and exciting for you guys on the channel but The 
torque on this engine is amazing. I'm in second gear and I feel like once it hits at like 4,000 RPMs, the bike just wants to keep going up. The front wheel just gets light and it dances. A little bit dangerous, but a lot of fun. And we did the yellow red light thing again. God damn it. It's okay. Because now... We're just gonna wait for them. We're just gonna wait for them as they try to come along. And we are on the side of the road. On the side. Oh, that makes it so much easier to touch down as if I had a six inch platform to do so. Alright, put it in neutral. What buttons do I have here? Average, distance, forty-one. Yeah, I don't know what else is in this gauge. I feel like it's a little antiquated for the bike. I wonder what the KTM Supermoto has. Um, but yeah. Oh, definitely wish I had that six inch platform to get on the right. Woo! It like dances at like 130. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo! It doesn't feel bad though right now. Like the wind break isn't crazy on the bike and I don't know why because in the MT once you're over like 85 like it starts getting kind of annoying if that makes sense Sean Oshkin oh that exhaust hi motorcycle friends oh, wearing shorts on a motorcycle is just a bad idea Motorcycles are so much fun. If you guys like motorcycles as much as I do, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Because the more support I get from you guys, the more it wants to make me keep doing this. Riding motorcycles and testing it them all. And just making videos. Connecting with the motorcycle world. Verucci, so what is it? A little side pocket. Kind of cute. I completely understand why the Supermoto is the official bike of the hooligans because it just makes you want to do, I wouldn't say not safe stuff. Oh wow, that's quite the, uh, quite the front of that car. But you just feel confident on this bike. You sit up a little higher, the bars are a little wider, you have more control over it. The engine is definitely there and you have the traction. Um, this is definitely a interesting bike. It really is an interesting bike. And it's something that I'm going to consider very much as my next bike. It's weird that the gas tank's not right here. It's in the back. It's, that's kind of interesting to me. It's like, how do you fill up your tank if you have a bag on it? I don't know. Ooh. The single-sided swing arm on that looks really good. The black wheels and the orange stripe. So much orange. <laughs> I don't know if I started that, but I'd like to say I did. That kind of got out of me a bit. A little more power than I expected it to be. And it scared me. 
I don't know which has more power. This is a 701, and my MT-07 is 700 cc's, but which one actually has more horsepower? Because I would almost expect that this does. It just feels more powerful. Gonna coast on in, but I don't have a place to. Ooh, let's get warm. Boom. That's guys turning left from the right lane. What a fucking idiot. Some gravel. Wow, what is with it? Oh, it's it's not a, it's not a two-lane road, that's why. Oh, we're back. Look at that. We are back at Berlin Best Hey. But it's okay, because I'm going to park this bike, and then I'm going to get the keys of a 1090 Adventure. Which, that is going to be the first time I've ever ridden a bike over a liter. So that's going to be fun.